everyone, Marcel here. Y'all, welcome back to my kitchen. Today, I've got a fantastic, summerific recipe for you. I'm gonna show you how to make some lemon blueberry quick bread. This bread has a delicious, fresh lemon flavor and has some fresh summer berries baked right in. It's a real treat, guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn you around. We're gonna go over the ingredients and I'm gonna show you how to make this for yourself. Okay, guys, so for a single loaf, of our delicious, flavorful lemon blueberry quick bread. This is what I'm using today. Okay, so in the big bowl here, I have two cups of self-rising flour. Um, so to that, we're gonna be adding one cup of regular granulated sugar, and then we're gonna need some cooking oil, one half cup of oil. Today I have some vegetable oil out. You could also use canola oil or melted, unsalted butter. Okay, we're gonna need three tablespoons of lemon juice. Um, use what you have on hand, but today I am using fresh squeezed lemon juice. I have, I have some lemons on hand today. And from that same medium lemon, I took a tablespoon of the zest from the lemon. We're gonna need some vanilla extract today, two large eggs, and then a cup of blueberries. I'm using fresh blueberries today and they've been draining on paper towels because I rinsed, gave them a really good rinse. Um, you can also use frozen blueberries, guys, but the deal with frozen blueberries is that you need to let them thaw completely and then let them drain on paper towels for probably 15 to 20 minutes to you know, relieve them of any excess moisture from being frozen. It'll keep your batter from you know, becoming too thin. Now, I also am gonna to be topping this quick bread like I do almost every other sweet quick bread I ever make. I'm gonna to be topping it with some of these um, sugar sprinkles, this uh, sparkling white sugar, adds a little crunch, adds a little extra eye-catching appeal. And then this is gonna go in an eight by four inch baking dish. And I do cover the baking dish completely with parchment paper. I'm not, I'm normally not that fussy. I would just grease the baking dish, but I like to, you know, take the loaf out of the pan immediately when it comes out so it can start cooling. And this really helps with just lifting it right out of the pan. So that's it guys, just a handful of ingredients. There's a really good chance you have all of this on hand. Um, if you're interested in the sparkling sugar that I use so often, I know they sell this at Walmart, um, definitely at Michael's maybe your grocery store, uh, but I'll put an Amazon link down below so you can find it if you um, maybe otherwise can't. But all right guys, let's start, let's get to mix and let's get this batter together. Okay, so not so fast there y'all. All right, I forgot one very important ingredient. <laughs> you need three quarter cup of buttermilk. Okay, it was still chilling in the fridge. Um, yeah, so I'm glad I remembered uh, but you, you three quarter cup of buttermilk guys. I do prefer store-bought buttermilk. I think you get better results with it. The, um, the quickie buttermilk made with the milk and the lemon juice or vinegar, that kind of thing. It's good in a pinch, um, but get you some store-bought buttermilk if you can. All right, let's get this batter together for real now.
Okay guys, so here's a look at this lemon blueberry quick bread right before it goes in the oven. My oven is set at 350 and this, we're gonna check it at 50 minutes, but you can plan on this baking for at least 55 to 60 minutes. So we'll see what it looks like in about an hour. Okay y'all, so here is the top of this delicious lemon blueberry quick bread. This is right out of the oven. Now this did bake for about 65 minutes. As usual, I got distracted. I did do the toothpick test and it is done all the way through. So we're just gonna let this cool now and then we are gonna enjoy it. you guys love this easy delicious quick bread recipe as much as we do if you try it um, now baking during the summer months I will tell you I don't do this super often but when I do bake I do bake early in the morning or much later in the evening just to kind of take the edge off of heating up the house because where I'm at in Central Texas is miserable guys especially during the middle of the day June through October it's just a hot hot mess out here but anyway, guys, I do hope you enjoyed this recipe. If you try it, please share it with anybody who might enjoy it. And as always, thank you so, so much for watching and hanging out with me for a little bit today. Take it easy out there, guys. Stay cool. And I will see you real soon in the next video.